only hear from your past is a gift I had to share in this video okay because I'm going through all the notes you know as the days pass I always write down thoughts and ideas of things that I hear or that I observe you know from others and there was a video I watched and it's probably the thousandth time that I've heard someone say this you know on Facebook it's posted up all the time and I thought oh again and then I thought okay that's it video time <laughs> okay so the concept is okay that for you to become a positive person you need to avoid negative people that's basically the idea keep negative people out of your life and you'll be you know for you to become a positive person and to have this happy joyful life and this day when I heard this person making this video straight away my mind shot over to Mother Teresa you know and looking at her life because we all grew up knowing Mother Teresa okay and you know she did not surround herself with just happy successful people to me she was an enlightened being you know she was a person that was awake very much awake in this lifetime but she didn't surround herself with just people that are positive people because oh you know it's like <laughs> it's like the negativity is now a disease and if you know oh, I'm gonna catch it <laughs> I want to be positive so if I'm gonna hang with people that are negative oh, I'm gonna catch their disease and I'm gonna get negative again it doesn't work that way it's like because you've got dark skin, if you're going to hang out with someone who's got white skin, all of a sudden your skin's going to go white. It's kind of the same concept to me. That makes no sense. In my mind, in my heart, I believe, when you are awake, okay, when you start to really live your life with your eyes wide open, you're no longer sleepwalking through, okay, as most of us are, or most of us have been, okay and you become this beautiful positive person and you shine your light nothing can affect that when you are centered and you know who you are you know who you are you know your gifts and you don't need to have this to be who you are and you don't need to do that to be who you are you just know who you are the human being that you are the spirit that you are when you are you have a solid foundation in that nothing outside of you can affect who you are nothing can change it because your mind is solid you control it you know for a long time of course you the negativity of others affects you because your mind is this constant chaos like mine, when I decided that night, that's it. Stop talking. I've had enough of you. I don't want to hear anymore. Stop talking. I said to my mind that night. But not many people have the courage to do that, to tell their mind, okay, that's enough. I've had enough. Most people just let that keep running and rerunning. And so anything outside of that, because their mind's not stable, it's all over the place they're constantly being affected by everything that's outside them they're constantly reacting to everything that's outside them because there's no solid foundation inside you don't know who you are when you discover the truth of who you are nothing outside of you can affect that let me say that again <laughs> okay because so far, up until this point in your life, you have reacted to people outside of you. You have reacted to situations that have happened. And all of this is because of the experiences that you had in your childhood. Okay, they've become your triggers in your life. They trigger things. If you've decided that you're not worthy, that you're not good enough, when these people and these situations show up that make you feel that way they remind you that that's the decision you made you react you may be really super optimistic and see the bright side of everything you know but you still have people coming in and situations coming in the world keeps going 
And if you're solid and you know who you are, that doesn't affect, it can't affect you. You won't need to react to it anymore. No matter what they say. And not only that, but you, in hearing their negative comments, in seeing their actions, you're seeing their pain. Now this is one of the first things that happened in what I call my first awakening five years ago. When I started to see my pain and how I treated others because of my pain in my past, when I understood that, of the horrible things I said and the horrible things I did because of my pain. Once I saw that, that light bulb went off in my head. All of a sudden, when people were being angry at me or when they were, you know, flinging poo, if you like, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> you know, they're having a bad day, they're flinging the poo at me. All I could see was their pain. I couldn't see it as, it's almost like a shield goes up. You know, like this force field all of a sudden that your energy can't be affected. It can't affect you because you're looking at their pain. You're not taking it on like, oh, it's an attack on you. There must be a flaw in you that, you know, that they're having a go at you for that. You suddenly start to see their pain and you see it as their pain. You don't take it on as your own anymore. You don't need to. All right, my darling. So I want you to think about that today. Just because you're in a positive place or just because you feel that you're improving and your energy is getting, you know, bigger and better and, and you are moving forward with all these videos, you know, and you're starting to understand your place, how you got here. You know how why you react in certain ways or why you need to behave in certain ways once you start to understand all of that you'll find that you don't need to avoid anything you don't need to avoid negative people you don't need to avoid anything because you're in a good place you're in a safe place and inside of you nothing nothing can hurt that nothing can take that away from you what's inside of you Nobody can take away who you are. All right, my darlings? I love you guys. So remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. Because remember, for the most part, a lot of us are out here trying to help you out of your negativity, trying to help you out of these patterns. You know, when people are in a good place, that's all they want is to help others. So when it's your turn and you have come out of the muck and you're on the other side and you are in a positive place and you're in a good place, you don't need to avoid certain people. They will not affect who you are. They will not affect your joy or your peace within. It's yours. It's always been yours. It's always been there. All right, my darlings, I love you guys. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.